You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my reaction to Young Royals Season 3, Episode 5. Now, before we get into this reaction, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. Uh, uh, we're here. <laughs> the penultimate episode of the entire series is upon us. Episode five. Now, I had to wear my knuff hoodie for this one because I just knew I needed some sort of comfort. I needed some sort of joy because emotionally and mentally I am not prepared for what episode five has on the horizon. We just continually are going down this path of are they or aren't they going to be able to overcome this stark difference in lifestyle, this stark difference in economic style, in belief systems. When it comes to Simone and Willem, I'm just, ugh, I'm very nervous about where we're headed with them. I've said it all season. I want them as endgame desperately. <laughs> oh, and I really don't want a like forbidden lovers that just aren't right storyline. I don't want it. I don't need it. Please, no. Otherwise, we didn't really get back to the case at all. They did their little, like, stand-in, which... I mean, it got their phones back, but on principle alone, I wasn't a fan of it. I'm still really excited for that shoe to drop on what Philly said, because we keep getting the nuggets. We keep getting little teases, and her friends are going to flip their lids. When she reveals that she told all. Because <laughs> I know she told all. And yeah, you know what? If Hilerska has to shut down, so be it. I don't know. Um, that might push our couple apart, though. So maybe I need to watch what I wish for. Sarah's back at the school. Everything is a mess. We've got Willem's birthday coming up. Graduation coming up. In my nerves on their last leg. Yeah, I'm scared, y'all. I've, like, really been low-key dreading hitting play on episode five. And we'll see how this one goes, because I might be damn near dead trying to hit the play button on a, on the finale, the series finale. So, I've got to do it. we got to watch it. I'm so scared, but help me get through it, Ken. Help me, y'all. I'm glad I have you to watch it with, because I'm scared. <laughs> so, let's cut the chit-chat and jump into episode Number five. Ooh, this is where it happened, huh? <laughs> and we did end up with that, like, mic drop moment for poor William. It was not in the house. Eller man bara råkade vara på fel plats och slumpen fick avgöra hans. Inte vi. Det var tross. Tack, Tack så mycket. Mm. Tack så mycket för det, Henry Walter. Vad tycker du jag ska på? Your birthday suit. Oh wait, that's just for the real celebration later that mm. night. Klädkod eller? Vad ska du ha på dig? Oh. Jag ska väl ha kostym. Kostym. Okay. Svart eller vadå? Det är inget jag är mm. trött. Bara... Här. Klassens festprisse. Klassens legend. Klassens, okay. husse, klassens import. Marvan tyckte det var skitkul, eller hur? Ja, ganska roligt. Mm. Yeah. This is why y'all need to be shut down. Verkligen. Jag kanske är världens tråkigaste människa nu, men... Vad händer om någon utanför hör om det här? Men snälla. Is it? Is it over? Alltså, tror du verkligen att de skulle låta oss få tillbaka våra mobiler, ha tre års middag, om de inte var säkra på att vi hade vunnit? Uh, Okej, okay. dummy. Gör vad ni vill. Jag kommer inte kunna komma sen. Oh? Uh. Vadå, vad ska det? Jag vill fylla år. Grupp tre sen, tar hand om dessert. Det är Mikaela, Felice och Sara. Oh? Så, kom ihåg det här nu. 
Men mm. jag förstår ju hur stöter vi kommer vara i våra små uniformer. Wait, we're gonna wear uniforms? <laughs> Usually what you have to do when you're the serving staff, ma'am. <laughs> wear a uniform. Och i skolan? Har du tagit något? Oop, not are you on something? Hallå, får man inte vara lite glad om man har haft en produktiv dag? Ja. Oh, not the manic energy. Okay. Och jag ska träffa läkaren igen om en månad så du behöver inte oroa dig. No, oh, I'm so nervous he's gonna let her down again. Och uppkörningen. Yep. Williams locker. That was perfect. Ooh, no, he wasn't. But okay. He's still a good person, but he wasn't perfect. He was also probably a very good brother. Even if he wasn't perfect. Even if he did something shitty, Willem. Mm. I'd like to think Bro, Eric would evolve once you started living your truth and being who you were. We don't know, but I'd like to think so. Mm. Talk to somebody, Willem. Mm -hmm. To get to decline it. Mm, no. Not the time to close yourself off. I understand the want to do that, but. <sighs> oh. Ja, men jag känner mig verkligen inte bekväm med att uppträda. Det är inte jag och. Alltså, du får vara ärlig och säga om jag har gjort någonting. Åh, no, it's not you. Du tycker jag är jobbig för att jag frågar dig om födelsedagen. No, Men jag gör ju det för din skull. På invigningen, han var en av 300 som var där som höll i det. Du behöver verkligen inte att du dömer honom också. Jag har inte sagt något. Men jag ser vad du tänker! Oh, calm down. Jag tycker att han är homofob, att han inte stod upp för de svaga. Att han inte hade tyckt om att jag var med det hela, att han hade tyckt om vem jag är. No, 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 no. That's not true. Det kanske inte var så konstigt att han drog sig in i det där om alla andra gjorde det och tyckte att det var ett normalt beteende. Ja. Han kanske föll för grupptryck. Men vänta, alltså... Vad menar du? No one's perfect, that's what he means. Alltså, du kan inte jämföra Erik och Sara. Du har inte oh. rätt att well, göra det. Okej, okay. hold on, bro. Det, det gjorde jag inte. Jo, det gjorde du. Don't. Mm. Du gjorde det precis. He didn't det mean it like that. Jag försöker bara säga att Sara inte heller är perfekt. Men hon har försökt göra någonting Skit, bra. Skitsamma, jag orkar inte, Simon. Men kan vi bara snacka? Oh, okej. Okay. Mm. Well, usually it's the moan jumping to that kind of explosive reaction, so I guess you're on the other foot this time, huh? <laughs> but will them no. Oh, he gave it to Sarah. Okay. Okay. Now take your own advice, Simone, and forgive your sister. Oh, shit. So, uh, you don't have to forgive anyone. Nobody is entitled to forgiveness, but <sighs> oh shit, is her dad? Oh no 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 no! Here we go. Here he goes. Strike number two. Active manic passed out on the couch and now strike number two. Oh my gosh, she's gonna miss her test because of this. Oh, she's really gonna. Oh. 
I was really hoping he had changed. Bro, she is never gonna forgive you now. Um... He didn't. Han var den rimliga. Han var den jag kunde lita på. Han var min bror. Och nu... Now you gotta reconcile yourself with this. Not Simone with this. Oh, I mean, I'm sure it's a tough thing to kind of process in your mind, especially at his age. Fatty, Naglana, what do you think about a little... Yeah! Leg matter. She ran all the way there. Oh, but now she's going to get rattled. Okay, focus, girl. Harness it in, girl. Shake it off. Oh, don't, don't pay attention to all that. Oh, now she's really... Oh, my gosh. Now she's really screwed. So he's not just, like, passed out? On the couch, he just ditched her. Oh hell! Oh. oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh Sarah. Well, I'm glad Simone is still getting ready oh, for this birthday. Um, looks good. Okay. I hope we'll him. Comes around to understand. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Mm. Just relationship problems, mom. This <laughs> can't be so short. Oh shit. Especially for mga so young. Que no se te olvide, Simon. Oh, here's Sarah. Oh, yay! I'm glad to hear that. Mm. Yeah. Oof. Oh, oh, purple nails. Oh, and he's gonna rock the purple for his birthday. Yes. How did Christina for the first dog? Oh. It's tough because you can just see it all as an outsider. You understand these kids and why they're feeling the way they're feeling and why they're reacting the way they're reacting. And for kids this age period, not just love, it shouldn't be this hard. Oh. <laughs> Te deseamos a ti. Tack. Jag kom du in. Jag fick muta Malin bara. För att. Om man inte har någon som sjunger för en på morgonen. Då känns det inte riktigt som en födelsedag. Åh. Jag tror inte. Jag tror it goes great with those pajama pants. <laughs> I say don't even talk about it today. It's a birthday. Uh oh. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Love that sandwich for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait though. Is he changing pants? Yeah. Or are those supposed to be the pants for this suit, Simone? Oh, 
Jag kommer att visa dig Simon vad du kan hålla till under din. So those are the pants he's wearing, huh? We kind of just got some black pants, or is that is that blue or what? Um, just straight color. <laughs> Not straight color, but you know, a solid color. Because, <laughs> bitch, you don't know me. I would have shown up in like a bright pink suit, but that's as the prince. Is it good at least, or is it some old crumpety dry cake? Well, they keep up. Absolutely. Oh, then you have to go. Okej. Jag kan inte äta något som inte hovets kocka tillaga på sådana grejer. Ja. What? Det finns risk för förgiftning. Klumpin här. Det är horrible, vi på det snälla. Fan vad jag skiter i. Jag är inne på det. Jag har august på min middag, jag vägrar. Ta vara studenten en gång i livet, eller hur? Bra, jag fixar en bil till dig. She said, I'm not waiting for a response. We'll get you the car. Head on out, August. Go to your little graduation shenanigan. Ooh, I can't stand these third years, y'all. Hip, hip. Oh, okay, this is the best I've ever seen the mom. <laughs> this is my favorite version of her I've seen yet. Uh, sweetheart bitch. Mm -mm. <laughs> she said bye boy. <laughs> Så ser man hur det firar ni. Not like this. Oh, not on the white suit with the red wine. This school is wild. Let I really need to know. Is anybody's schools behave like this for real in actual life? Are y'all rich out there and do this? Mm. Steffi, old rich white folks birthday over her. Kunga. Och så brukar jag skriva eget ibland. Okay, wait, don't. Mm. Don't talk about the, the song you wrote. Ja, han tog ju både piano och Och så spelade han tvärflöjt och vad. Ja. Oh, mom is it like deep in this depression. Bildfanter, det är det. The Dilf Hunter? Och cirkulerat flest röster fick han faktiskt för klassens bad boy, August! Oh, not he wasn't ready for bad boy! <laughs> well, sir, you've been the worst of them, so take it. När din sinktag består till 99% av parasitmål. Sover någon i dina nuggets, ja, då är det förmodligen han. Asleep in your nuggets, huh? What kind of superlatives are these? Not the kind we had at my school. I wasn't simply unforgettable. That's right. <laughs> in my yearbook. Oh, he is really pressed about this bad boy. <laughs> oh, shit. This is the one I don't... Y'all, I just don't care about this relationship, mending it, none of it. I want Sarah to be okay, that's it. Ooh, she said, keep it, bruv. No, 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 no. I don't, no, she doesn't want to hear it. She doesn't want to read it, sir. Yo. Okay, this is the kind of August that'd be pissing me off. She said no. Seems like you did that. 
vill det längre. Jag vet inte vad det är som jag är här. Jag ska att jag hade gjort annorlunda. Oh no, this... Sabart is... Not... Moving me in the way I think it should. I don't know. Sorry. Okay. I don't even know if I want this to be happening right now. Look. There's something to be said about forgiveness and moving on. And that's it. Don't have to get back together. Don't have to be together. All this bullish. Yeah. <sighs> God, and now Felice is about to hear about a girl. You were just like getting on the good side of your friend again. See, August. Learn when good enough is done. I mean, that's going to be a friendship to just get cut, which I think is a real shame. Because I do think Felice was a good friend to you, Sarah, overall. Daddy. I mean, but also, why'd that girl have to go so run and tell it like that? I'm like, ma'am, give us a second. <laughs> he said, bitch, what you leaving me there having to listen to all that mess for? Simon, it's my fault. I don't think it's good for me. I've been so worried for my mother, and now we're going to finally see it, so it's just a weird experience. But absolutely, if you think it's so hard, so go. Do it. Och ni, eh, ni, ni stannar bara och, och äter upp tårtan och så. Ja, men då äter vi frukost samma morgon men, innan ah, ni behöver åka iväg. Men, vänta, är det, är det så jävla jobbigt mm. att sitta här och äta en lite hemma tårtbit från Villen? Eller vadå? Alltså, förlåt, men kan ni sluta spela teater nu? Sluta låtsas att allt är normalt? Snälla! Ja, men det är... Det är ingenting som är normalt efter Eriks död. Jag är helt förstörd och jag behövde dig. Jag behövde er. Uff. Jag fick liksom inte ens sörja i fred med er. Hela jävla Sveriges sorg var viktigare. Då lämnar du mig helt jävla ensam. Ja, men Willem, det räcker nu. Och du! Då låter mamma oh. bete sig hur hon vill och skiter i mig. Jag är din enda son, pappa. Kan du se mig? Vilhelm! Talar inte så till din far. Jag och talar inte så fan, till jag vill till er, ni heller. mina fucking föräldrar. Oh. Ni ska finnas här för mig. Det eh, Jag märker det, för du är lika jävla kass på båda två. Oh, oh shit. Jag vet inte. Du vet inte. Again. Oh. Oh. Willem. Oh my gosh. 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 Willem. They bombed it. Like, what the fuck? Um. Everything Willem said right then, though. I mean, needed to be said, but whew. That mom needed to hear that for a long time, and so did that dad. Ever since Eric's death, to be honest. Obviously, it's hard on them as parents, too, but that, that kind of all went for them, too. They cared more about the image. Oh. Och lyssna på mig. Förlåt Simon. Det är bara som att du... Du blir någon annan. Jag känner inte igen dig. Shit. Kärlek borde inte vara så svårt. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> what did I say? What did I say? I was not emotionally or mentally prepared for this freaking episode. That we were headed to this path. In honesty, I don't know how we fix this in an episode. We got less than an hour, 40 minutes, and there is still so much drama sitting here on this table. Oh, gosh, I really hope episode six is maybe longer than usual, at least hit an hour. Maybe it's like extra long, and that's why it's premiering a week later. Now we have to wait. <laughs> they really, wow. You know what? Showrunners, Netflix, everybody involved, I'm in your balls. You really, really give us these five episodes and leave us on that note with those faces looking at each other on those words and say, come back next week. I don't know. I don't know. This is, I mean, I guess it's kind of good because I have been mentally preparing myself for this for pretty much all season long. I've seen the seeds kind of being sown all season to lead to some mess like this. Though my only problem is, is now I don't see a way out of that. They've been together all season, which is what I wanted. They've stayed in their relationship all season, which is what I've wanted. But I wanted them to work through these hardships and these things as a couple. And that's not what's happened. And it's led to a bigger divide than I think they've had ever in the entire series, to be honest. Because I don't know if it's reconcilable. <sighs> So right now, everything is in disarray. With one episode left, the entire show is an exploded mess. Sarah and her father are done again. Their father proved to be just who she knew he was this whole time. Sarah also over here was right on the cusp. She was there with Felice. And then that friend saw her give in to August. August just couldn't let it go. It couldn't let good enough be done. Great. We see where you're coming from. Now move on, sir. Um, learn from this experience. Grow from this experience. Doesn't mean I want you growing in my space. Head on. But now that relationship's about to be done. Both sets of parents are just a complete mess. I mean, yeah, we have mom. She's, you know, always going to be great. At least Simone and Sarah back. Yeah, they're really going to break our hearts and end this series, huh? I'm not ready for that, y'all. No matter how much I try to convince myself that I've emotionally and mentally prepared for the inevitability that they won't end up together. There's just too much to overcome. Love shouldn't be this hard. I'm not prepared for this to end on a note like that. Um, Even a bittersweet ending. I don't know if I'm ready for it, y'all. I don't know if I'm ready for it. <laughs> Honestly, I wish we would have just ditched August and Sarah's thing this season. You know, let it be done. Ugh. Um, Some of these issues needed to kind of be dwindled down. That's my one thing about season three right now. I've really enjoyed season three by and large. I think it's been a really strong season. I just wish one or two of the issues, the challenges, the problems that we're focusing on here were dwindled down earlier in the season. They were resolved and move on. Let this final episode hone in on the one or two big things we need to conclude, not six big things that need some sort of emotional resolution in the final hour. So I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't know what's going to happen. Obviously, I'm anticipating getting to see that final episode, but I'm also very scared of that final episode and what it's about to do to me. So, <sighs> our journey's almost over, and our hearts are still broken. <laughs> uh, well, that was it. That was my reaction to season three, episode number five. I'm devastated. I want to hear how you reacted. What did you think of this episode? Are you heartbroken like I am? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section. 
down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. Also, please, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are for sure here to hold my hand. <laughs> Be here with me for the trauma that is sure to come in the series finale. I need people around me to conclude this series with, please. Let's support each other. So subscribe so you see when I post my reaction to the finale. I might be reacting to that reunion behind the scenes documentary they're releasing. I don't know. Let me know if you want to see that still. I love you for your continued support. Oh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.